guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and back to another vlog. I hope you're doing very well. Today is currently Thursday, the 2nd of November. Sorry. It literally feels like it was February yesterday. Like it's actually crazy and kind of scary how fast this year has gone. Time really is just passing by and it's terrifying. I can't believe it's November, but I've gone ahead and got my November nails, my Christmas nails. I've gone for red and I love them. They're like a really pretty cherry red and they kind of distract from my red fingers, sort of. Or do they make it worse? I don't know. But anyways, red nails for the Christmas time and my tree is not up yet, but it will be soon. Also, I really want to get to Kmart and Target this weekend because I looked online yesterday and they have so many Christmas goodies. I really need to get a Christmas mug and Christmas cups and a Christmas pillow. I need Christmas everything, so we're gonna do that, that's for sure. I don't really know what else I'm doing for the weekend. The only thing that I do know that I'm doing is on Sunday, Freya and I are doing the Fashion Thrift Society market in Brisbane, so we've got a lot of preparation to do for that. I have done quite a lot. I've priced all of my clothing, I've sorted through everything, decided what I'm just going to give away to Vinny's, which I'm gonna take all that today, and then all of the stuff that I am going to sell. And I've also made my signage, which I do need to laminate. So these are my prices. And then I also have a 50% off sign for the end of the day when and people are leaving I'm gonna be like hold up 50% off and then obviously everything that we don't sell we're just gonna give away and then I've got five dollar accessories or all items five dollars so that's gonna be like a five dollar bin so I need to laminate these my roommate is a teacher and she has a laminator at her school so she's gonna take them for me and get them laminated so I can hang them all up on our clothing racks and everything like that as well. My clothing racks I actually went and picked up yesterday from Ikea. Fry and I bought three each and then we also have a trestle table as well and then like big laundry bins to put other things in. I'm doing like loungewear, activewear, accessories, shoes, dresses, tops, pants, skirts, everything except bikinis because I haven't gone through my bikini drawer and I just don't think that I will so and also is it weird to sell bikinis I feel like that might be weird I mean obviously you wash them but I don't know anyways so I'll definitely bring you along to that it's going to be a huge day it's, ten, it's only 10 to 3 but I just feel like it's going to be a lot of talking and obviously getting there early to set everything up as well it's going to be a big day but I'm really excited for it that's happening on Sunday don't know what else is happening but you're coming along with me before we continue on with the rest of the day I got this delivered this morning from Muscle Nation you guys know I love their stuff I use their daily shake protein every single day I mix it with yogurt I have it on its own I mix it with a lot of things because it's always good to get your protein in and it tastes really good too so i love that and then i also have their protein bars which i have all the time as well but in here we have some activewear which i'm very excited about because i can't remember if i've ever had their activewear before i don't think i do i have a discount code for these guys this isn't sponsored but i do have a discount code so i'll put it in the video because i can't think of what it is right now i have two new activewear sets here to show you i'm really excited about these because as you know i joined a new gym and freya and i say all the time that all the girls there are just so put together with their matching sets I've just gotten so used to putting on a pair of shorts and a baggy t-shirt and going to the gym. But I feel like there, I'm like inspired. And this isn't any shade. I think they look amazing. Like this is me saying like they look really good and I should probably put in a little bit more of it. Sorry. New matching sets for the gym are definitely needed. And this looks stunning. I love this color. It's like almost like a burgundy brown. So that is the crop top. I got this one in a size small. It's got a little crisscross at the front and then also at the back as well. The matching leggings look like this. These are so buttery soft, by the way. I feel like these are gonna be super comfortable. Nice thick waistband, we love that. And then it also has like a curved hem at the back, so it's gonna be nice and flattering on the bootay. And then the second set, I'm very excited about this. These are going to be so nice. I've got a gray mal ribbed set. So this is the uh, crop top sports bra that looks like this, crisscross at the back, and then it's got the logo at the back as well, again, in a size small. Those leggings are in a size small too. And then these are the matching leggings. I love it. I feel like these are going to be so flattering. I'm so excited about these. So now I can look like a put together girly at the gym. So I will insert clips. You've probably already seen what they look like on just so you can see, but those are the activewear sets. And then also picked up some of their casein protein because I have heard nothing but good things about this stuff. And obviously it's like a dessert, but you're also getting in protein as well, which is really good. So there's 23.2 grams of protein and this is the golden ice cream flavor, which sounds so yum. So I think I'll try this tonight for dessert. So I got that. And then lastly, I also picked up one of their shakers which is huge so that's everything i got from muscle nation now i think i'm going to do some editing and then eventually once i can be bothered leaving the household again i'm going to take all that stuff to vinnie's and then what else do i need to do today 
couple of the worky bits but that's pretty much it for today just thought i'd say hi to you guys and i'll check in with you again once i leave my bedroom probably <laughs> So I've spent most of the afternoon editing and doing computer work and I just got around to bagging everything up to take to Vinny's and then I realized that it closes in 10 minutes so it's probably going to have to be a tomorrow's job because I still have to get everything into my car and then get there and it'd be closed by then so I'll do that tomorrow. You also probably saw Theo going nuts in the background because if I do anything at this time so much as flinch he jumps off the bed and gets so excited and goes crazy like he wants a walk so I better take him because he didn't get one yesterday or the day before. Bad mom. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take Theo for a walk and then have a shower. Probably do more work, but then I'm gonna start chilling for the evening. My dinner tonight looks so rogue, but trust me, this meal is so good. It's from the Street Food Code. So they're sweet and sour pork, and then I've added spring rolls as well. It literally tastes like you've got a Chinese takeaway. I don't get Chinese that much, but that's what I remember it tasting like. It is so good. Also, I'm still charging through Gilmore Girls. I'm on season two. Yeah, season two, episode 21. I'm obsessed. Good morning. Good morning, happy Friday. I've just got into the gym. I'm about to go in and do a session. I'm not sure whether I want to do upper body or lower body. I'm yet to decide. I think I might do lower body. I think that's what I'm feeling today. I'm wearing my new Muscle Nation set, which we love. It is honestly so comfortable. And this is the first time I've worn a sports bra in like two years. So that's a really big thing for me because I've never felt confident enough to not be wearing like a baggy t-shirt and just kind of hide myself, which it's just crazy how an eating disorder brain works. Like I'd be covering myself up because I'm ashamed of, you know, looking sick, but then still going to the gym. I don't know. It's just, it's just how it was. I always wore a baggy t-shirt or something long sleeve. So for me to be wearing a sports bra today is a big thing for me. And not that it's my goal to be able to just wear a sports bra to the gym. Like I don't really care to, you know, have anything out. It's not about that. It's just about having the confidence and I feel more confident and I still have a ways to go. But just the fact that I felt confident to walk out of the house today with just a sports bra on and my leggings is massive for me. So I'm feeling very proud of myself. So hopefully I still feel confident in there. Once I'm done this session, I'm going to go and do my food shop for the week. I always food shop on Fridays. I don't need too much because I'm getting meals from the street food co. So I just need like breakfast bits, lunchy bits, snacky bits. And then for the rest of the day, I need to get everything sorted for Sunday, complete everything. There'll probably be still more to do on Sunday or tomorrow, but um, I want to get most of it done today. So I'm going to do that. And then later on, I'm finally getting my eyelashes done. I didn't get to go on Wednesday because Millie wasn't feeling well. So I'm booked in this afternoon. So I'm finally fixing these bald eagle lashes. I also really need to do something about my hair. It's tragic. You should see my extensions. So I need to book that in eventually too. But we just got a sad ponytail today. But anyways, I'm going to go in, do the session, and I'll see you when I'm out. All done. I did RDLs, abductions, hip thrusts, single leg leg press, and some abs. Now I'm done skis, and now I'm going to go to Chermside because I want to go to Woolies and to Coles. You know what I do? Cheap girl hack, get the apps, then you can see what's cheaper at each place. And then obviously like Woolies and Coles have different things and I like to get different things from both. But it's really handy to see, sometimes things are like half price, so you can be saving a lot of money. So I'm going to head off now, get that done. How's this weather by the way? It's raining. It just came out of nowhere. It's sunny this morning. Um, but when I'm home, I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Look, perfect example right here, 950 at Coles, and then I just checked 650 at Woolies. So yeah, and I'm going there second so it works out better. You're currently sitting on a very makeshift tripod right now, you're on a vase and a bottle of vitamins, so hopefully you don't fall, but food haul, and I want to be quick because I've got frozen things I need to put away. The first thing that I got is some TP, and then from Woolies I got, I've been getting these every week, I know, I'm 8 years old, but these are so good, they're the mashies, if you haven't tried them, give them a go, I've been adding them to like Italian meals, and it's just like a nice little side dish. I also got my ice creams, caramel, I also got some pulled chicken, this I add to sandwiches, I also got a V, 
I wanted to try this flavor. I don't often drink these, but I actually got it. Nothing's focusing because the weather is so rainy um, for Sunday, just to keep the energy up. But some of these, these are the no sugar cans um, and zero caffeine, which is really good. So you can drink them at night time because I'm quite caffeine sensitive. Then from Coles, I got two tubs of Yopro. I literally have these every day, snacks, dessert, breakfast. Love, so I always stuck off on those. I got some bloobs, I got some straws. I got some nanes, I got some avos, and I got a singular tomato. I also picked up some of these as well, English muffs. Why am I shortening everything? <laughs> and then I also, as you saw, got some turkey breast again for sandwiches and some pastrami for Reuben sandwiches. And lastly, I got some gluten-free wraps. Which are also on specials. That is everything I got, little top up. I'm gonna put everything away. I've come to Freya's room because I got a delivery from Rock Boots. So I'm gonna show you and her what I got. First thing, I got these, which I thought would be really good for summer. Mm. Yeah, like summer lunches where you want to be dressed up and wear a heel, but you don't want to wear like stilettos. It's like a summer heel. Because you're a short girly. Yes. So, I got these. They're in a 39 though. 39 and 8. Oh, 40 okay. 40s and 9. Oh. 41 to 10. Cool. So, I got those. These are called the cashew. Let it out, sis. Yeah, they're cute. I like them. And look at these. I love these. I know I did say I'm looking for summer shoes, but I feel like you can wear these in summer because they're short. Cute. With like cute summery girly dresses with a pair of little boots. How cute. Really excited about these. I've been wanting like a pair of like cowboy boots. A good pair. So. Oh, and these are called the Indios. I saw them everywhere on their Instagram too. There's so many outfits styled with these and they look so cool. Ooh. Have your hair up in a pony. You know when it starts to hurt the back of your head? Mm, yeah. Like... Anyway. That's me now. I can't do That's much with my hair. My extensions are so grown out. It's a joke. They're all like crumbled up and folded. Ooh, it, it's that. a whole situation. I really need to get my hair done. Are you going to get into the cushions? Yes, he loves that. Hi. Mm, you're the love of my life. Oh, I love him so much. I don't love you that much. Oh. oh. He has a um gooby. Oh, he's bummed He away. does have a goob. No, his bum should be clean. Do you know I have to wipe his ass every time he goes for a poo? Like, he's a child. He's a baby. We have baby wipes sitting yeah. by the door, and I literally have to give him a wipe. Yeah. And he knows it's coming, too. He gets his butt ready for yeah, it. Yeah, he gets his butt. He, like, puts he's his like, bum up. He kind of likes it. I think he, yeah, sometimes he, like, licks his lips. It's pretty gross. Got home from the shops. Little delivery. Oh my goodness. Like I said, we just got back from the shops and we went to Kmart and we got a bunch of hangers. So that is all sorted. Also, I did resist the Christmas section for now, but I did get Theo a toy and I've just realized it says squeak. He'll find that very quickly. Do you want your toy? There you go. It's a little reindeer. <laughs> Oh, so cute. It's been a little while. Freya and I have been stickering a while inside a little clip of the current situation at home right now. I also realized I went through my clothes ages ago and I thought they were all downstairs. Mm -mm, they're in another room and I just found them all. So now I've got so much more to go through. Millie's actually doing it too. Hi. Hi. I don't know if you're in that. So yeah, we're just, there's a lot to do. I'm going to go home and have so much to do. Oh, after bro, this. I'm not keen for it. But I get a little <laughs> break to get my lashes done. This is the before. And then I'll show you guys the after. And here is the after. I am obsessed. It's actually the next day. It is Saturday morning. I've gotten myself ready for the day. Then I walked myself downstairs and realized we have no coffee. Not one bit. So I'm off to Sarafa's. I've got Theo next to me. We have a busy day today and I feel like I sound like a broken record saying that I need to stick a more clothes, but I found all those clothes yesterday, like I said. So I need to stick all of those. I also need to pack all my stuff ready to get some content later because Freya and I need to get some content but she's going to a studio this morning until 12 so i've got until 12 to do everything i need to do with like the stickering and everything and i'll get everything together for getting photos later on because i definitely need to get ahead in that because i feel like things are accumulating and i'm falling behind a little bit because i've been so busy planning sunday so i'm definitely keen to go and do that later so it's going to be a busy all day i need to do washing and like little things like that as well so coffee is needed also i had the strangest dream last night my tongue fell out that surely means something. I want to Google that actually. Did it fall out or did I like, it like broke and then I pulled it out. It was so strange. Oh my God. And then I had, it. I, what did I eat before bed last night? I had Nutri-Grain and yogurt and strawberries. I don't know. 
something I ate or just maybe I'm just having really deep sleep so it's probably good I slept for like nine hours last night but I had a dream that I was dead and I was with my family and they knew I was dead and they could see that I was there they would like talk to me but I couldn't talk to them and then I woke up and I was like oh that's really sad and then I went back to sleep and I went back into that dream and I, I alive for myself I was alive again hello um, am I, are you on uh, no I'm vlogging oh, um, if I like get like an hour and a half in and like I'm pretty much done Make sure you're ready because we can come in like really quickly and get some pics there. Yeah, Just cool. Make sure. Oh, that's Theo. I love him so I know. much. I would give my life for him. I'd take a bullet for you. I know. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun. Um, I was alive again and I was so happy. And then I woke up this morning like really grateful to be alive. So that was kind of nice. But let's see what my tongue falling out means because I feel like that definitely means something. Tongue falling out in dream. <laughs> Dreaming of a tongue falling out can symbolize feeling like you have no control over what you're saying. Your words may be coming out wrong or you may feel like no one is listening to you. It may indicate a fear of being unable to express yourself or fear of speaking your truth. Having no tongue dream meaning often symbolizes a fear of being silenced. Random. I'm not sure if I relate, but who knows? I don't know. Brains are so funny, aren't they? Like, I honestly feel like I just lived a whole life in my dreams last night. I am so excited for coffee. I feel really burnt out today. I don't know why. Like, I have no excuse. Some of you asked what my coffee order is. This is it. I'm going to get a big dog. Okay. Hi, welcome to Zarathos. What can I get for you today? Hi, could I please do a Maasai iced Americano with a dash of skim? Yeah. And could I get some sugar-free caramel in that as well? Sugar-free caramel? Yes, please. Thank you. Mm, I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna give myself Monday. I feel like I need a day of leisure. Even though I feel like my brain's always a million miles an hour. I was talking about this in therapy. And one thing that I'm trying to practice is forcing myself to read. I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with weed, weeding, with weeding, with reading. But I feel like it's the one thing that really just takes me away for a little bit and gives my brain some rest. It forces my brain to rest and stop thinking. So. I need to just make myself do it and I, I've gotten in the habit of it before so I can do it again so on Monday I'm just gonna actually just give myself time to read, rest, rot because <laughs> I'm just feeling a little bit burnt out I've got a lot of stuff coming out so I feel like I've just been thinking a lot I've got a lot of planning and just kind of going 24-7 I start my internship soon too this month actually on the 14th which is exciting it's gonna be two days a week and yeah I'm really excited about it I might I'll talk about it more when I actually start I think just to share what it is but it's really really cool you guys are gonna be really happy for me I think because it's very much me coded don't mind the mess in my room I'm currently sorting out outfits but this is outfit number one and this is what I do now I never used to do this I used to just throw clothes together and then hope for the best but then it never works out I'm never happy with the photos I'm never happy with the outfits and even though I envision something in my mind and I have such a solid idea sometimes it just doesn't look how you thought it would so I'm trying on all my outfits and this is number one this is for muscle nation this is that set that you guys saw earlier in the video and then I've just popped on a headband I'm gonna do this and then shoes obviously as well and I like it Number one done. I've got two more to go. Hmm. Okay. And this is an option for look number two. This is from White Fox, actually. The Look how cool this top is. The bra underneath and then the top and then the jeans. All from White Fox. And then I think I'd do, like, silver shoes. I don't know. It's a bit out there. And we'd be shooting in the city, hopefully, if I don't go to the studio. I don't know. I might try a few more things on. But this is really cool. I was just thinking, this would be the perfect top to save for New Year's. Because I'm going to Wildlands. So I feel like this would be the perfect like festival New Year's top to wear with like a pair of jeans. I just don't know what shoes I'd wear. I also need to loosen. You can loosen these back here just so it sits a bit not as high up in my armpit. But that would be so cool. Or I could do this, which is a little bit more subtle. The sparkly bag. You can't really see the top. But it's like still sparkly. But it's just not as out there. Oh, I don't know. Are you comfy down there while mommy tries on clothes? He always does this. Every time I get home, my pillows are always down because he makes a little bed for himself. Okay, and for the last outfit, I'm thinking this. Because if we do go into the city, there's like, I'm just holding my hair up. Because I think that's how I'll do it. With my hair up. There's a black and white wall where that last outfit will look good. I'm going to bring both outfits, by the way, and just decide when I'm there. And then on the other side of the building is like a cream kind of marbly wall. Almost like beachy vibe, which I think will suit 
this dress because it's like a little bit of a beachy material. It's so pretty. This is White Fox as well. So yeah, I think I'm sorted. I'm packing my shoes as well. So I'm going to do these with the white outfit, the white dress, and then these with the silvery outfit, whatever I choose. Then I also have my sneakers in here for the active outfit as well. I know the boxes are happening again, but once I film this content, it's going away. It's going in there. It's the reality of getting picks. I've got a top to cover up my tartars. And my cute shoes on. Back home. Photos. <laughs> We're okay. I'm not. Hey, 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 hey. You inside now, please. Thank you. Come on, I'll take you in a second. Theo in. Good boy. Um, they're not amazing. I don't know. I need to go through them. Um, but I wanted to show you our cars. They are packed to the brim. We're just putting the last minute things in now. Front seat. Then this is the back. Those are our clothing racks. And then it's all full of bags. The back is all of my tubs. And I think maybe some more bags. Oh no, just my tubs. Slay. And then Freya's got our trestle tables. Trestles, our chairs, and yeah, then we've got all our bits and bobs in here. We've got like spare bags, spare stickers, zip ties, and that's it. Oh, sorted. I've even organized my outfit for the morning as well. Hello, please ignore my appearance. I've quite literally just gotten out of the shower. I've done all my skincare, and I also put some face tan on because I'm looking pasty. My hair slicked back, I've got my silk PJs on definitely aren't silk because they're from Pretty Little Thing, but they feel silky. And I'm on my way to pick up some GYG, which I'm so excited for. And I haven't done this before. I pre-ordered on the app and I chose a GYG that you can go through the drive through but I don't know whether you can go through the drive through with pre-orders, but I really hope you can because I'm wearing pajamas, I don't have shoes on, and I look like this. So I really hope I haven't stitched myself up, but we will find out. But that's the plan tonight. GYG, Gilmore Girls, early night, ready for a big day tomorrow. I've got my alarm set for 5.45 to leave by probably like 7 because it opens up at 7.30 for all of us to set up and then we get until 10 to have everything ready to go. So plenty of time to get everything ready, which is good. We'll definitely need it. Very early night for me, chill night, and I'm so excited for GYG. I literally, I get it so often. I was really good this week. I waited until Saturday to get Uber Eats because I was really getting in the habit of get, getting it for dinner like a few times a week. And like, that's fine, but if I've got perfectly good food at home, then I really should just eat that. But a little weekend treaty. Hi, I just have an online order, an app order. I have an order, I ordered on the app. Can I get it through the drive-thru? It's 2125. 2125? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God, thank God I could get it through the drive-thru. I was worried. I said, the, I said I've said i got an app order and he was like, what? And I was like, got an app order? And he was like, oh yeah, what's the number? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I really want to try these. The chicken tenders. Has anyone tried them? They look yum. I love a chicken tendy. I couldn't come home and hoe in before showing you the goods, but this is what I get. Mild chicken burrito bowl, and then I add sauteed veg, and then a mild chicken soft taco as well. I'm so excited. Good morning. I'm just about to head out the door, but this is my outfit today. Shorts, sneaks, top. And then I've got my laptop in here to charge my phone. And then this is gonna be my little purse of the day because it's got my cash in there, if people use cash, which I think a lot of people will, so. <laughs> I gotta go Zerapis first though. Mm, oh no. I really wish I got here five, 10 minutes earlier because the lady just came up to me and said that the car park right next to the tent, which is over here, is maxed out, which means I have to park over there and carry literal garbage bags from there to the tent to set up. Someone gave us a rack with wheels. We're in, we got everything out of the car and Lily gave us a trolley with wheels. Literal lifesaver. Actual lifesaver. It made it so much easier. So everything's down here. Now we're just going to get our tables and start setting up. This is what it looks like inside. It's huge. Oh my god. It's a mess. I've also realized I did not buy enough hangers. So this is all my stuff hung up. And I can't hang anything else up. But our mum is coming so hopefully she can go and buy some more. I've just got to set up the table now with all the bottoms and then all these as well. Oh my god, it's coming together. I've got all my pants out. Then these are all my bins. My signs are kind of floppy, but we've just got some tape so we can
tape them down and make them sit nicely. And then this is all the clothing I could hang up. I showed you guys before. Now I'm going to dig through these and put out skirts and my accessories and then shoes as well. Honestly, everyone's going to walk in and I'm just going to be a sweaty mess. We also are given these. Stella, I still need to get my copy out of my car. I haven't even had my syrup. Begun. Everything's set up. I've already made a few sales, so I need to keep using these hangers to hang more stuff up. Hello, quick little check in while I have time. It's honestly been non stop. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Oh my goodness. I'm back home. That felt like the longest day and the shortest day all at the same time, which probably doesn't make sense, but that was an absolute whirlwind, but so much fun. But I am so grateful that my mom drove up from Noosa, drove up, down, I don't know. She drove from Noosa to help us out, which was honestly the biggest help because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to leave. We wouldn't have been able to pee or go do anything. Everything was falling off racks. The signs were falling down. It was just chaos, but so much fun. And I'll definitely be doing another. They actually do them in the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, and then Brisbane, obviously. And I think they do them quarterly and they do them all around the world. So if you are from anywhere, definitely look them up if you want to be selling your clothing because that was such like an epic day. It was so fun, but I'm ruined. I'm definitely giving myself tomorrow to just rest and recoup which probably sounds dramatic but that was a big day and a big week of planning as well so I'm so sorry that this whole vlog was like based around today but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway I am going to end it here because I do want to try and get this out tomorrow for you so give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to I hope you guys have an amazing day or an amazing night and I'll see you in my next video bye